Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of Mugs, Mugs with Buds. So for this episode, we were talking about how we're so excited for summer camp and what we're looking forward to most for summer camp. And we have all agreed that we are most looking forward to s'mores. S'mores. Yep, s'mores for summer camp. And that got us talking about what is the best way to make a s'more. And none of us can decide. No, there was a lot of debate. So we decided to have a s'more off, right? Yep. So we pulled together a competition with a panel of judges to see which one of us could create the best s'more. They're quite different, but we want you to check it out. Tonight on S'more, four contestants will compete to see who can make the winning s'more. Contestants will have the freedom to create a s'more recipe of their choice. The winner will gain the approval of campers and head chef Diane. Let's meet the contestants. Hello, my name is Nate, and I've been involved in the craft of s'more making since I've been six years old. I love making s'mores, whether it is around a campfire or in the comfort of my home. I feel really good about this one. Um, you know, I'm gonna kind of stray away from the traditional s'more and do something that hopefully delights the taste buds of the judges. Hi, my name is Kayla. I feel pretty confident in my ability to win today. My take on this s'mores challenge is going to be inspired by my Dutch heritage. I think for the, the s'more, I'm gonna use Stroop waffles as the graham cracker, and then I'm also going to use Ghirardelli caramel chocolate as the chocolate. Hi, my name is Jamie, and I've got the sweetest tooth this side of the Mississippi, and I'm about to blow your mind with my unsmorable s'more. Hi, my name is Anthony, and uh, I'm, I'm not much of a cook, but for this challenge, I'm, I'm really gonna put my heart and soul into it, and see what happens. Welcome to S'more. As camp staff, the ability to create a perfect s'more is not only critical, but also an art. Tonight, you will have to outcompete your competitors. Your presentation, taste, and style. You must include chocolate and marshmallows. You will have 30 minutes to complete this challenge. Good luck. The clock starts now. Okay, here we go. Time to make s'mores. Need something a little sweet and salty. Crackers get all these supplies laid out. The perfect execution. Well, this is quite the challenge. I'm not very good in the kitchen, but we'll give it our best shot. Uh, for this recipe, I think I'm gonna go full on, full on sand squash mode for them. And I think what I'm going to do is create a s'more based on sand squash. So to get the sand part of the sand squash, we're gonna use Sandy's cookies to make ours our graham crackers. So unfortunately we can't use regular Sandy's cookies. So we're gonna make our own with these ingredients. So we have some flour, we have cinnamon, we have vanilla extract, we have some eggs and last but not least sugar. So, we're going to mix some of this up. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so for my s'more, the timing has to be just right because I don't want to overcook my marshmallow and then undercook my shrimp waffle, but I also don't want to overcook the shrimp waffle and then under 50 marshmallow. So I'm gonna get everything ready. Oh. 
a little bit worried about my cookie to more or marshmallow ratio. So I think I'm gonna cut it in half and that will be my cookie. And every great chef, you know, brings with their knife with them. So I got my best kitchen knife. I'm gonna, gonna cut it in half first. So yeah, I cut it evenly so that it doesn't crack. So I also don't wanna get docked in the presentation, of course. All right, so we have this here, but I'm gonna wait with that. And I'm gonna start the marshmallow. Whew, get all the ingredients I need. I am a big fan of the unsmore. Not so sure how the judges will feel about it, but I prefer to eat my s'mores with a spoon or a fork. So we just gotta toast some marshmallow. Really like things sweet. And I really hope that the judges like sweet things too. Flour. Some of our sugar. Um, I'm not, I don't know. We're just gonna put some vanilla in. We're not gonna measure it too much. That should be good enough. I'm hoping the judges don't prefer marshmallows, but I don't know. Maybe they'll have a taste for marshmallows, but this one I think will be best. It's just a golden, golden light brown, crispy texture on the outside, but nice gooey texture in the middle. Oh, wow, I guess my marshmallow. I'm going to heat up the chocolate on the sides. Um, I am heating up my chocolate so it's not cold and hard as well. I want uh, the consistency of the marshmallow and the Rolo chocolate, which also has caramel inside, to all be the same consistency. And as you can see, I'm doing a rotisserie style um, cooking and heating my marshmallow. I want all sides to be evenly toasted. Oh man, we forgot. We need the we need the marshmallows too to make our s'mores. Uh. I don't want to spend a lot of time. It's going to take a lot of time to make these cookies. So I'm going to rig up this s'more to make by itself. It's just tied onto my mug here. I'm just going to leave that puppy. Let it do its thing over there. We're going to finish working on our stuff over here. So we need some cinnamon in our cookie mixture. I'll uncover one key ingredient. which is some nice brownie chunk. I have a secret ingredient that won't be revealed until way at the end. Traditionally, fruit waffles are you know, had at tea time. You put them over the cup of uh, coffee or tea, and then it heats it up real nice, so it makes a perfect snack. All right, I think I'm gonna start the strip waffles now. Got to here, back here, just here. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna get this mixed up. Great. And we're gonna pour these into our baking sheet and uh, set this in the oven to cook. And just checking on that chocolate, it looks like it's heating up. Oh, uh, we got an issue, but you know what? This is live. Um, okay, before this burns, I'm going to move the Rolo so it is away from the actual burner. But you know what? That's the name of the game. Forgot to prepare my chocolate. That might be a really bad thing. I prefer burnt marshmallows, but I know I heard one of the judges, they do not like burnt marshmallows. So we're gonna go for the perfect golden round. As you can see, when it starts to fall off the stick, that's when you know it's time. So, we're gonna use the cracker to kind of top it. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh. This thing, oh no, I might have to start over. Oh, shoot. Cut, cut, cut. Out close with the marshmallow, getting a little jiggly, which I think is a good sign, especially for the inside. I'm gonna hold it over here a little bit longer. And then we're gonna plate. Perfect. All right, so what we're gonna do, I think the cookie's about good. I'm gonna 
chest here. Slowly pull out the stick and then cover the other side like so. So now we stack. But we're not done yet. Not yet, no. Just pull, you know, careful. We're gonna put a little bit, spread it on top. And then we're just gonna plop this onto my brownie, and then the secret ingredient will be added right before go time with our judges. Hello, Jamie. Tonight I have made an unsmorable s'more for you. Unsmorable. So is a brownie, mm. a scoop of ice cream, and a toasted mallow. And that is what's important. Toasted mallow. Not a charred mallow, but a toasted mallow. Get a little bit of everything in here. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The brownie is a nice touch. The ice cream is good. And the toasted marshmallow is perfect. I have to have another bite of this one. Delicious. <laughs> Hello, chefs. Uh, for my s'more, there is a twist. Um, I took the approach of doing a sweet and sauce, uh, salty uh, combo with my s'more and I did that by replacing the graham crackers with Ritz crackers um, and in addition instead of just using regular chocolate I used uh, a Rolo so it has a caramel chocolate um, palette to it sort of mm -hmm. taste so enjoy mm, looks lovely and the milk chocolate it looks nice Delish. Mm -hmm. Very good. I like the, the saltiness in there and the crunchiness of the cracker. And the marshmallow also is toasted, not charred. Hi, judges. Today, I have for you a Dutch inspired s'more with a stroop waffle as the graham cracker and then a caramel filled chocolate as the chocolate. Little marshmallow, but stroop waffles are a wafer cookie with some caramel on the inside. So, hopefully, you get that accent of caramel with your chocolate. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Caramel adds another dimension. Is there cinnamon in the crackers too? I can taste the cinnamon. Mmm. Another winner, folks. <laughs> Although the marshmallow could have been a little bit more toasty. <laughs> it's really good. Don't poison me. Mmm. <laughs> good afternoon, judges. I present to you the Sand Squatch S'more. Ooh. Inspired by the Sand Squatch series, this s'more has a sandy cookie topping with the traditional marshmallow and Hershey chocolate s'more. Mm. Mm. Mmm. 
This one's good too. Mmm. The cookie's nice and flaky. Love it. Again, another nicely toasted marshmallow. All of you use such imagination with all these cookies. It was very delicious. Each one was very unique and very good. Well, how do you all think you did? Fingers crossed it turned out all right, but I, I can't be too sure. I just, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't execute the way I wanted to, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. I mean, yeah, we'll just, we'll have to see what the judges think. They, I mean, they're all so different, you, you know? They're, they're all, I, I thought we were gonna have a graham cracker, a piece of chocolate, and they were gonna have to put it all together. I blew it! It was my one chance and I blew it! Hey, 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 don't be too hard on yourself, man. No! No! Oh, hey, it's okay. Come back. Anthony, wait. For me, it's either Jamie or Anthony. I mean, this one to me is so good. And this is so good. So, so I mean, this you can throw together in your kitchen in no time, you know? And this obviously was uh, really thought out to make this cookie, to make it in the shape of a foot. I'm sure you did great. Come back, come back, it come back. You got everything on the plate, right? That's all that matters. Yeah. They call it a challenge for a reason. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you're right. And all the caramel was just delicious. A very pretty presentation. This was so unique and delicious also. Just a little hard to eat on that I mean, I'm sure yours is going to be mine. This is a lot of pressure. Yeah. Hey, whoever has the best s'more will win. Yeah. Good luck, good luck. Good luck, yeah. yeah. It seemed like you all worked really hard to get to where we're at right now. It's true. In my eyes, I think we're all winners at the end of the day. Go with um, Nate. Although this was delicious, and I, I love that it's things you have in your kitchen and you can whip up a s'more in no time. I think it could have. Um, it could use a little bit more, maybe some pretzels or something. So, yep. Thank you, judges. Sure. Kayla, yours looked very good, but it could have poisoned me with the gluten in it. So, thank you, judges. Thank you, judges. Jane. This was delicious. Really a, um, again, really thought out, but it would be very difficult to eat. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. judges. Anthony. I blew it. It was my one chance and I blew it. If you're, you, know, you thought this out, you took the time to make these cookies into a classic shape for our uh, sand squash here and it was delicious the toasted marshmallow looked done well zero anything to add so you are the golden marshmallow <laughs> 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 Thanks for watching this week's episode of Mugs with Buds. Please comment below with your signature s'mores recipe. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time on Mugs, Mugs with, with Buds. Buds.